It's incredible to think of how advanced we've become in the last 100 years. It took just 66 years from the Wright brothers' first flight to man walking on the moon. This man was driving through the Hudson Valley area when his dash cam captures something strange. At the time he said that he could see something in the sky that looked like a jet black aircraft, but couldn't really pick up on some of the finer details. After posting this photograph, online users started to question whether this aircraft was perhaps the SR-72, the successor to the SR-71 Blackbird. For those unaware, the SR-72 aircraft will be the most impressive aircraft on the planet, having state-of-the-art hypersonic technology. Some websites even reporting that the SR-72 will be able to strike targets anywhere in less than an hour. This 14,500 miles per hour aircraft will be an optional piloted flight research vehicle, meaning that it will be able to fly without a pilot. Lockheed Martin Executive Vice President and Skunk Works General Manager Rob Wise said the following to Aviation Week. We've been saying that hypersonics are two years away for the last 20 years, but all I can say is that the technology is mature, and we, along with DARPA and the services, are working hard to get that capability into the hands of our warfighters. End quote. Since this announcement though, various people have claimed that they've seen this aircraft, causing some to theorise that perhaps it's already flying around in the sky. Black futuristic aircrafts have been sighted now for several years, and there's been countless sightings that have been reported. But one of the issues is that most of these encounters happen during the night, when visibility is bad and camera quality declines, which means that gathering evidence has been difficult. Many residents in the United States have been reporting mysterious sonic booms, and when this news was announced some put forward the idea that the United States may have been testing this new hypersonic aircraft, and this is what people were hearing. Other people across the US have said they've seen stealth aircrafts in the sky during the daytime, but notes that they're too high and fast to photograph. New York's Hudson River Valley has been a hotspot for years, with eyewitnesses coming forward with strange phenomena occurring in the area. Thousands of residents between 1983 and 1986 encountered the strange aircrafts in the Hudson Valley area, with them saying that the strange crafts were witnessed by hundreds of people as traffic on roads came to a standstill, and motorists left their cars in order to get a better look at them. The phenomena that had occurred that night would return after a week had passed. Officer Andy Sandoff of the Newcastle Police was on a routine patrol when he claimed to have witnessed the aircraft. One user said the following about this recent photograph. I'm old enough to remember some of the earliest reports that included these aircrafts. I used to work for the UK's Ministry of Defence and during the 1990s many of these aircrafts were being reported across the United Kingdom, and sometimes this would happen in waves. One of the reasons why people don't know about these sightings is because most of the events happened during the early hours of the morning, and those that did see them had no way of capturing them on camera, as technology back then wasn't able to pick up on these things. I've always been fascinated by these aircrafts, and try to keep an open mind. I knew an Air Force controller who worked in Belgium around the same time, and they said that during the same time period they had a huge fleet of these objects appear on radar. Most people who are interested in this topic are aware of the Belgian lines, but most don't know that there were actually thousands of sightings, most of which were actually detected by radar. To this day, my friend still can't wrap his head around what these things were, and I'm equally confused as to how such an aircraft could exist back then. Speculation still continues in regards to what these objects are, but I think that most are of the opinion that they belong to some military program out there that hasn't been released into the mainstream. It's rather frightening to think about these aircrafts and their capabilities, 
as these things were being cited during the 1990s, and although that doesn't sound like a long time ago, that was 30 years ago now. Who knows what other tech they're playing around with. Good memories and I'll never forget the day I saw one of these objects during the daytime. It felt incredible being in that room and seeing it for the first time. End quote. Back in 1991, residents located in Southern California heard a series of unusual sonic booms, and interestingly the United States Geological Survey even picked up on them on their sensors. NASA and the Air Force came forward and said it wasn't their SR-71, as it was not operating on the day the booms were heard. Former NASA sonic boom expert Don Magaliri, who went on to study the sonic boom data at the California Institute of Technology, said that the data showed that this craft was at an altitude of around 90,000 feet, and was hitting Mach 5. Mach 5 means it was going 6,174 kilometers per hour, or 3,836 miles per hour. To this day, there's been no official answer for who owns these aircrafts, and no military has come forward to claim that they're behind the sightings. Databases that report mysterious aircraft show that these sightings are still happening, and that we're no closer to understanding how they're able to hover motionless without making a sound, can outmaneuver modern jets and have the ability to vanish within seconds. So what do you make of these interesting photographs? What do you make of the black triangles? And do you think the SR-72 Blackbird is currently being tested in the sky? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.